Let's get it rolling. Game one between two of the top seeds at this entire tournament. And again, one of these guys has got to go out at fifth. Crazy thing to think about, but let's get started on that path to find out the result. AK of Meister. Meister already starting off hot, gets the up throw into the nair. This is going to be a big juggle. Even with the B reverses, that up air is very good at detonating grenade on the way down, continuing the pressure. AK is definitely going to be looking to use more of that down tilt that we saw a little bit of dash attack as well to cover these long ranges and keep Game & Watch out. Oh, there's that grenade detonating in shield. Meister going to take a little bit of damage there. Tech chase, snake the one hit, and then the up tilt to call out the jump. That's the stuff that Apollo Kage couldn't get going against Capitan Sito earlier, and he's been looking for it all day. But when he starts landing those, it really builds that confidence. Absolutely. That's that moment where you feel like you are him. <laughs> he, might, he may be him. Look at the layout. He is him. Mm -hmm. We'll see if he's going to be able to make it all the way there, though. C4 at a lovely position on the side flat. Might want to detonate early even so that he has access to it here. Wow, the down slash actually breaking the Cypher. Of course, AK was always going to air dodge up to the ledge, and Meister getting a little charge for the bucket as well. Great B reverse grenade landing. Like you said, really big tool for Apollo Kage in this matchup. Continuing to rack up that damage due to up tilt what might kill. I was just about to say that up tilt might it's actually kill it. It did. Absolutely. My goodness. And again, we're seeing a few of these grenades, but used much more sparingly. It is a lot more about that down tilt, up tilt, and just the range that you have access to there because you are going to get down that throw. damage. Up throw is enough to just send straight I, off the top. AK is laughing. I, I want to say, is that down throw or up throw? Because it's one of the two, and I don't remember which is the quicker kill throw. I don't know, man. I think it's the down throw. Either I way. might be wrong. Either way, though, Meister does use it to get back into this game. Still not a full stock, though. And Apollo Kage, like you said, the CQC is so important. It's been excellent. That grenade toss, again, one that used sparingly. Uh, can turn you around, but I love the way that it, when Apollo Kage turned around with it, also tossed the grenade up so it wasn't quick access for Meister. Here we go, another juggle getting started though. Hey, Meister's always so good at finding those moments where you overcommit just a little on the ground and then he can really turn it into something big. That's obviously what Game & Watch's game plan is built around, but the fact that he's able to do it with a character that doesn't have the best range in the game, pretty huge. Consistently, Apollo Kage is doing the magician's trick of pulling that grenade, saying, look here, and then tossing it away, <laughs> catching Meister holding that bucket, and flying straight in. Up smash, though, is going to punish any opportunity for you to get too close to Game & Watch here. Phenomenal anti-air game from Meister there. He's going to get that grab, waits for the grenade detonation, too. He knows, okay, I can't get my nares. Tries to go for game immediately. Apollo Kage getting that C4 set on the ledge. Big bucket for Meister, though. So now it's all about oh. the projectile game. Burned it too soon, though. Immediately getting rid of the oil panic. I like to have bucket access, but not connecting, missing an opportunity, and AK finding his with that boot. Up tilt, catching Meister stuck on the platform. It's, uh, it's been, you know, the same game plan over and over for Apollo Kage, but you just can't stress it enough, right? It's not about the stage control in this matchup the way that Snake would normally do it. It's all about trying to condition the Game & Watch into committing to something like the jump or something like a roll or even any of those committal moves that he has while he's grounded. He can actually get something really big started on that, and that's where we've seen Apollo Kage get things like those up tilt to take the stocks. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Continuing to have a more martial game plan has been absolutely to his benefit. Meister right, taking a second in the think tank before heading right back into this next game. Going right back. Small battlefield. See what we can make happen differently. Well, Meister, I think that the biggest thing he needs to do compared to that last game is, I mean, really maintain that stage control, whether it's him sitting behind a platform or whether it is him actually just standing in center stage looking for anti-air opportunities. That's going to be one of the biggest things for Game & Watch to actually take advantage of Snake in this matchup and say, hey, you actually got to come to me. And obviously, that bucket is a, a big factor if he really wants to hyper-focus in on it. Ooh, the up throw going to get yourself a little bit of damage on the way back up. You said a little? Right, look, Jeez. It started small, but it grew quickly. <laughs> See Apollo Kage just flailing his legs, trying to kick the grenade off the stage, and he did eventually. He was doing the hokey pokey. That's what it's all about. Ooh, the B-reverse is going to get called out of special. Out of shield covers just about everything. There goes Cypher covering Apollo Kage on the way back up. 
But Meister doing an even better job of covering those platforms, not giving Apollo Kage anywhere easy to escape to on these ledge traps. And AK's just going to take that 10 damage because he doesn't want to give Meister the bugger. Yeah, just going to blow himself up rather than give access to that oil panic. Hey, resetting the C4 because he doesn't want it to just blow up of its own volition. Really putting the pressure on Meister right there, but yeah, nothing big happening in this corner. And this is that stage control I was talking about, right? Where if Meister wants to play in the corner, that can be very effective for him. Yeah, Apollo Kage trying to get some of this empty land stuff going, but Meister, even if Apollo Kage lands a little bit near, has been going for that out special flying high. Doesn't want anything to do with it. Oh, oh my goodness, Apollo Kage took a moment to think, and it's turning into something big for him. That's all he needed to get his way back into this one. He was just waiting to find the pattern of the chef. Ooh, down smash sending him high, but the C4, or the Cypher rather, keeping him safe against the up air. Safe and sound. C4 not big enough to save him on that platform, though. And Meister, again, excellent edge guarding here against Apollo Kage. Really been shutting him oh, down. that could have been huge. Instead, an opportunity now for Meister setting up the bacon. I really like the, the usage of Apollo Kage just pulling that grenade and saying, yeah, I'll take a couple hits here, but at least I'm not getting ledge trapped by the bacon. Yeah, absolutely. Take the damage. That's okay. Whew. He's looking at the macro game. I'm pretty sure that forward smash can be bucketed, by the way, just oh, in no. case you're curious. So I, I would, that. I would, you know, not rely on it uh -huh. personally. Then again, Apollo Kage has been pretty brave this game, so I don't know. Kind of have to make brave plays at this point as Apollo Kage playing down on last stock, 120% in order to make this comeback here on Meister. And if you connect that, maybe that's a brave play that works. Jeez. Not enough, though. Well, Meister's still sitting at these lower percentages. Again, Snake with Rage versus Game & Watch. Again, we can't stress it enough, but that up tilt's going to be enough to take the stock, so Meister's probably going to have to play a little more grounded. Mm -hmm. Dash attack setting him off stage. See if we can put up a Nikita. No, just gets sent right back. I was just about to think that, hey, Nikita's not really effective in this matchup. AK, no combo right there. Here come the bombs, but again, the Cypher saving him a little bit. I love that Nair. Mm -hmm, absolutely a great counter assault for Apollo Kage just sitting by the ledge. The up tilt does come through, sitting at 150 just about. AK's got to be very careful, and that certainly not the safest way to get down. Did not watch the grenades. Meister getting his way back into this one, one to one apiece for these players, and you can see Meister really locked in after that game one, right? He is in the zone. Oh, you hear the chant in the background. That's Scoobert Dubert time. Scoobert Dubert. That doesn't mean a character change. That's just, uh, That's I, just I, I don't know what it is. VK is a big fan of uh, Scoobert Dubert. I couldn't tell you what it means. Me either. I don't think Apollo Kage could tell you either. I'm pretty sure he's been asked and said, I don't know, man, it's just Scoober Doober. Hey, sometimes it just is what it is, and sometimes <laughs> you don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Oh, shout out to Oscar Gamble. Here we are somehow doing the way to 1-1 one, one, Apollo Kage Meister. Who's going to be able to really find their footing the most? I know, again, it's one of those situations where Snake has to play so far out of his normal comfort zone, but he does still have such strong strengths in the matchup. Look, if anybody believes in this character, well, it's, AK. <laughs> it's Apollo Kage. He knows he's got some crazy stuff, but he's got to dig deep into that toolkit to make this work. His Meister, man, he has just been a menace in neutral. Looking insanely strong as he does. Pulling out the chair, sending AK down a stock, only 30% on him. I, I said it earlier, I'll say it again, the La Sia into Sia. Amen. That is the way that it be. I'm aware, by the way, for all you Spanish speakers, that I said basically the, the chair, but it is what it is. You know, sometimes we stutter. <laughs> sometimes we say the same thing over and over, and that's okay. Sometimes you got to do the same thing over and over in your game as well, and I'm not going to pretend that I had a particularly good segue off of that, but regardless, if Meister sticks to what he's been doing in that last game and keeps applying it here, man, he's still going to be looking good. Long hits that back air, trying to fight through the chef, but Meister able to get the shield just in time. Continuing to press Apollo Kage off stage. Oh. Swinging hammers. Meister's done such a good job of disengaging when he doesn't want to fight, but catching the roll in. AK still in this 60% isn't too much to worry about just yet. 
pretty sure that Game & Watch does not have those best rolls either in those tech situations too. So, terrible. Yeah, you want to see him roll behind you. That's an easy up tilt for AK to react to. Still though, two stocks apiece and AK is the one fighting from a percentage deficit. So that means that Meister really gets to control the pace of the match. But, you know, we know that AK has the patience in him to play basically however the play style is commanded. Once again, sending to the sky. So he set up that up special. Meister doing such a good job of controlling center. Yeah, back up. Don't want to deal with that C4 just yet. Oh my goodness, that did so much shield damage. AK getting scouted out on the side. Can we see? I up think an air connecting absolutely does it here. Yeah, up airs are never going to take you off the top. The Game & Watch has a few other options. Halokage trying to use the uh, the up smash as well, which obviously can be reflected just like those grenades you see there. But, man, explosives all over the place, yet it is the key for Meister to put Apollo Kage onto his last stock in this pivotal Game 3. Oh, grenade just blowing up, sending Meister out of range. 80% is a percent that's still not particularly safe as a paper-thin character as he is. But AK really has to find this hit. See him just dropping that grenade right there. He'll take the hit because he has the game and watch off stage, and that's the most important part. That's really smart pack. bucket by Meister, too. That could change the entire game, but once again, whiffing on it. Tries to chase the roll out, but a little bit too late. No spot dodge that Apollo Kage was looking for. Meister rolls away. You Big can charge once that. again. Jeez. Oh, he's actually got the bucket now. Yeah. Better I, look out. And he does. Apollo Kage has dodged almost every oil panic. He has dodged every, every oil one. panic, in fact. Yeah. No almost to be seen here. He is uh, caught on to the fact that, again, like you said earlier, Meister wants to throw it out often so that he actually has access to the bucket later. But my goodness, this damage is climbing. AK looking incredibly unsafe. Now this is, uh, we talked about it earlier, right? Snake, in theory, pretty bad disadvantage, has a really tough time with getting juggled, and Game & Watch is one of the best jugglers in the entire game. And once again, you said it, that up air can detonate those grenades, and Meister going up 2-1. He's one of the top seeds in the tournament, and he is playing like it. Yeah, it's, it's why I was mentioning that you have to really use that B-reverse sparingly as Snake in this moment, because not, not only do you have access to Bucket, but you give opportunity for that upper to detonate and send you sky high. Where previously, you know, like you mentioned, the upper is not particularly deadly on its own. It's just the percent that it builds and the situations that it continues to place you in that becomes so terrifying. Mm -hmm. well, Apollo Kage is going to have to dig deep. Crab wants to ask him if he can get much higher. I don't know what exactly that's referencing, but... That's one piece. Oh, is it? It's a one piece thing. Okay. I thought I, I thought I knew most of those, but you know. it, could not be, I, it could be something different. I just kind of assume at this point, right? It's like, all right, yeah, you got it. Bumpy's pretty good. It's crazy good this week. All right, game number four. We have not gone off a small battlefield for any of these games, and honestly, I don't think the stage even matters that much. No, I don't think it really does. I think the main thing is just is AK going to be able to find these Marshall hits or not. Game Meister's done such a good job of playing far outside of AK's ranges, forcing him to commit to stuff like the dash stack, and when it doesn't work out, it is huge for Meister. Yeah, that Meister has been playing so well this entire set, and just has not let Apollo Kage get the momentum in the set after that game one, and look, even saying, look, stay out of my zone. If you think you're gonna get your confidence rolling, you better be real confident that you get around my smash decks. And the bucket. <laughs> yeah, and again, Bucket in a Dream manages to toss out the oil panic right away, not connecting, but it does give access to the bucket once more. Goodness gracious, that up tilt's actually enough to do it, though. Again, Game & Watch being so paper light. The Apollo Kage able to take the lead here, and he has not played with one in a while, but big damage on Meister after that C4. Actually, not as much as I thought. Back air, gonna be detonating into a grenade, so AK still holding on to the first one. Falling forward air is enough to take AK's first stock, though. 46, not a ton of damage, but hey, it's climbing. Oh, we are getting so close to percents where I feel like up tilt's going to be doing everything that we need it to. Need a little bit of rage, though. I think that, you know, yeah, one throw tech chase or one juggle from Apollo Kage, and now you start to wonder if maybe Meister's in a lot of danger. 
Yeah, I feel like the danger is here. And just in case we see the down throw from Snake, I want you all to keep eyes on Game & Watch once more because this is another character. Whenever you throw Game & Watch, he becomes extraordinarily three-dimensional and it's a little bit unsettling. Ooh. I actually love the idea from Meister there going for that forward smash, right? Because if Apollo Kage just air dodges to try to get out of that whole setup, he can actually just be gone. Ooh, empty land. Look at how 3D he is. A little early commit from Apollo Kage. Dash attack almost enough to do it, but not quite letting Meister drift down. He does get the bucket on the up smash. That is a big charge. Meister fighting damage back so far. 140 living for an insanely long time. AK is not able to use you know, the traditional tools that Snake would offstage in order to end something early. Like you mentioned, the Nikita against Bucket doesn't do a darn thing. Mm -hmm. Meister just sends it going in another direction and then you lose your tool. Uh, be out of shield though, or actually out of the spot dodge right there. Meister finishing it off, like you said, that Nair could take you off the top and Meister just needs one more to stay alive in the bracket. Dash stack strong hit might have done it for AK, but the weak hit just sending Meister back to center. Once again, we see the patience from Apollo Kage. He's just looking for that perfect moment to approach every single time and never just a good enough one where maybe you take a trade, but that's kind of what it's like to play against Game & Watch. There really is no good enough moment to approach him. It has to be perfect. Still sitting back, dash attack, able to come out just in time to get that down smash out of here. Can we call the catch? Let up option? No. Apollo Kage unwilling to stay close enough to the ledge to threaten it. Now he is not uh, definitely going aggro, right? He's not trying to open up Meister here. He's waiting for Meister to give him one of those openings. And I think that Meister is really letting that result in a lot of momentum for himself. Foreign Air is not going to get anything done here. And here come the juggles once again. And you can't really pull the grenade here because if you hold on to it, you get taken off the top. Oh, but Meister. that air dodge puts you in a bad spot as well. Launch to the sky. The up airs continue to fly. Where is AK going? Sent straight up off the trampoline. Barely able to air dodge back, holding on, but only just barely at 184. It seems like an inevitability. Even the jab from center stage sending him so close to the blast zone. Just holding on to that bucket. Eventually, we see the detonation. AK gonna have to tap in extra hard, sitting at almost 200%. Just about anything, especially all these foreigners that Meister's dropping would be enough. Oh, we're able to dash attack through the bomb. You can't deactivate the hitbox. Oh, you we knew it was coming. There. You Absolutely. knew it was coming. Because <laughs> what else can Apollo Kage do, right? I mean, just a raw comeback is so difficult. Back into center stage, Meister really focusing on these forward airs. So much shield damage. Oh AK with the God. SDI out, though. He's got no shield either. How on earth is he alive? AK fighting with the most resilience. Oil panics here, immediately gone. This is so close, actually. And the bomb drops at 200%. You have almost no 